Okay, um, we're going to talk about drugs. Um, legal and illegal, by the way. Um, we're going to start with the legal drugs. First off, I believe there is way too much drugs floating around for stuff that really don't matter. And not so much really for that matter, really, or that don't matter. Because, I mean, it does matter to some people, but I believe that, um, certain conditions are not worth time in the hassle. Um, perfect example, erectile dysfunction. I understand that if this affects you, it is a part of your life and all, blah, blah, blah. But to me, the ability to have an erection versus heart attack, dementia, whatever other side effects may come with taking the pill is not worth it. So, for the legal side, um, be very cautious and always check. Like, if your doctor wants you to prescribe you poopity boo, don't just listen to them. Go home before they before you can get that prescription filled or anything like that and check it out. You know, go look because by law they have on somewhere they have to put uh, excuse me every side effect to that drug and then think about whether it's worth it or not. Now the illegal side. I am against almost every single drug known to mankind. I'm well, against the, quite a few drugs on the legal side, by the way. Anyway, um, for a simple fact that I do not like anything that's going to change my mental state, take it away from me on a logical basis. Um, that being said, um, we're going to start, actually we're going to start with the legal drug, alcohol. I don't like the taste of it, don't like the smell of it. Um, but then again, um, I'm a believer that if you are responsible in your use of whatever, who am I to tell you you can't? Perfect example. Um, I don't believe anyone has the right to tell me I can't use a gun responsibly. So therefore, I don't feel I have the right to tell you you can't use alcohol responsibly. On the flip side, you have every right to not want me to use a gun irresponsibly. Therefore, I feel I have every right to be against you using alcohol irresponsibly. So I'm not against the use of alcohol. I'm against the use of, or against the misuse of alcohol. Um, we're going to go now to the illegal side, marijuana. Um, I have not ever smoked marijuana in my entire life. I've never done any illegal drug. I've probably done a handful of legal drugs, including Tylenol and stuff like that. Um, I'm very kind of iffy, wishy-washy kind of sort of on this subject. I shock a lot of people because I'm a very opinionated individual. Um, I do believe, just from my own personal research, that we should be looking into the medical use of marijuana. Um, I've heard a lot of doctors speak on it. I've heard a lot of patients speak on it. And I do believe that we should be researching this a little more than we are. Or at least a little more than I know about. Um, I'm also a firm proponent of what you do inside of your home, as long as it does not leak out into the rest of the world, I have no care about. Honestly. With the exception of, you know, hurting people. If you want to toke up in your bedroom at 2 o'clock in the morning and watch some cartoon show or whatever, giggle your butt off, I don't give two craps as long as you're not imposing on the rest of us. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm like that with all of them too. If you want to snort a line of cocaine and shoot up heroin and drop some ecstasy and drink kerosene, if you're not hurting anyone else, then have fun. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I prefer you don't tell me about it, actually, but, you know. Um, I do believe that we need to stop spending millions and hundreds of billions of dollars 
fighting an uphill battle against drugs the way we are. I think it's very in a very uncost effective, incost effective. Whatever. I can't talk right now. Um because of the whole mandatory punishment thing and stuff like this. Because the way it works, the way it was kind of put into place is let's say I'm a low level dealer of pot and they're gonna bust me and they're gonna and I have a minute mandatory fifteen year sentence. They're hoping that I'm gonna roll on on my, on my dealer, the guy I get the weed from. And then when they get him, he'll roll on the next guy and he'll roll on the next guy. Well that only really goes up to a certain level and then you're done. So you're telling me that you're going to take some guy who's got three joints and you're going to give him a min mandatory 15 years if he doesn't roll on the guy who supplies him. And he might not, he might not, that dude's name's Bob and I have the cell phone number. That's all I know. But you're going to give me 15 years anyway because I don't know anymore because I'm not a complete and total moron and I realize that at a certain level they'll just kill you if they don't like you. I mean, granted, most of your low-level pot dealers and even hardcore drug dealers are not going to kill you. They're just not going to talk to you no more, you know? But you go to that certain level, like level 3 or 4 or whatever, they're just going to shoot you in the head and bury you out in the bushes or something. You know, because they're looking at 60, 70, 80 years on their possession alone. You know, like if you've got two dime bags... Yeah, it's not too bad. If you got, you know, a warehouse full of weed, yeah, you're, you're in trouble. So, yeah, they're just going to kill you. You know, I understand the point, but it don't work no more. And I'm not really 100% sure what to do on it. Um, Maybe just push harder for the upper guys than the lower guys. And a lot of reasons it doesn't, or the reason it doesn't really work, is because no one really cares. Because, oh, look, we busted 27 people with, with drug charges. Wow, look at us. We're hard on drugs. But they're not doing anything except popping little, you know, high school kids and 20-year-old losers and, you know, work at, a, work at a fry machine and stuff. And give them 15 years while they're letting rapists and child molesters and killers out on the street. And this is something I find really interesting. I can't remember what state it was. But if you get arrested on any drug charge, you do not get bail. Period. If you had raped someone, you can get bail. If you kill somebody, you get bail. If you're a child molester, you can get bail. But if you get caught with a bag of weed, you're staying in jail. So you're sentencing. Or to your trial. Dang, so yeah, that's a little weird. Because I've known potheads. I've known killers. I've known child molesters. And I've known rapists. For those who don't know, by the way, I worked at a prison. <laughs> Clear that up real quick. You know, and to me, I would rather have the most hardcore drug addict living next to me than a child molester, and I don't have kids. But a simple fact is that crackhead might break into my house, might try and steal my stuff. And a burglary is a lot easier to get over than having a child get molested or killed. You know, so I think we need to revamp the whole system. You know, um, and that's pretty much all across the board. Um, not so much on the other other medical uses of, of narcotics, of drugs and stuff. Even though cocaine is a medical is used in medical purposes, which I find really fascinating. It I can yeah, they don't really prescribe it, but. You can use cocaine in a medical environment, and it's cool, but you can't use marijuana in a medical environment. Interesting. Um, so that's all I got on that one.